Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, video in this um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly series. Um, we are getting towards the end, which is quite sad. I've been really enjoying doing these. We have quite an unusual looking um, floral picture today. And uh, I thought we would use some um, delicate pink. Now we don't have lots of really, really pale pinks in the set of um, Castle Arts. But my lightest one is this sort of rose pink. And then I have this sort of grenadine light, which is actually quite dark. But I thought we could play around with them a little bit and hopefully get something reasonably gentle pink-wise, which is what I would quite like. So I'm just giving this one a little sharpen. And I'm going to start with it, which is the grenadine light. Sorry, I hope you can see. And I'm not going to do the centre. I think I may do that a different colour. This is, still isn't sharp enough for me. I get a bit obsessive by sharp points on my pencil. Okay. So I'm going to go around the edge of this central part with the um, pencil just to sort of mark out where I think there would be a little bit of a shadow from the leaves. And then we'll go from there really. I hope everyone's well um, and enjoying the series. I'm enjoying this one, but also I'm looking forward to the next one. Gosh, it sounds a bit... I think I always tend to. I, When I'm colouring, I tend to have a next picture in mind and I try really hard not to sort of rush what I'm doing so I can move on to the next one. But you know what I'm like? I love finishing a page. So I often want to sort of hurry along and get on with the next one. And I try really hard not to do that. This is the rose pink. And I'm just going to go in with some layers of this and just see where it takes us. So I'm going to go over this dark area in a circular movement and then try to sort of reduce um, the layers as we go towards the, towards the edge of the leaf. Yes, yeah, so I just, I love the feeling of finishing a page. It's such a nice um, feeling of sort of completeness and, uh, and achievement, you know. Even if it hasn't quite turned out how you wanted, having completed something, it's lovely. So I like that and I am a sort of, it's my personality. I like finishing things, um, pages, books, etc. I think... I don't know if it comes from this or not, but I remember um, studying English A-level and my teacher, um, or maybe it was before that, but we were always encouraged to finish books, to not sort of give up when we were reading. And we were told to read at least 100 pages. And uh, there were very few books that I didn't finish reading. Um, even now, I think non-fiction is a little bit different um, depending on the book. I don't always tend to um, completely finish a non-fiction book because you might dip in and out, depending on what interests you. Depends on the type of book. You know, if it's a recipe book, you probably don't read it cover to cover. Maybe you do. But with a fiction, you know, that was what we were told. And uh, I actually remember being told off by my one of my ch children's primary school teachers because I said that I'd been told this. And so... Uh, I wanted to try and encourage my children to read um, a lot of a book before they sort of gave up, as it were. I feel we need a darker shadow and I'm going to go in dark. I know this was going to be delicate pinks and it will be, but I just want to sort of emphasise the shadow. We're really shadowy on the page today. It's quite dark outside. I think my lamp is very bright. I'm just going to go around all of the edges with this. And it will hopefully just make it stand out. Can you see how that looks like? It's got a bit of a shadow compared to those. I hope that's uh, working anyway. And I'm just going to go around with this. Um, anyway, she said, oh, you shouldn't force them to read, um, keep reading a book if they're not enjoying it. You should make them stop and give in and try a different one. Uh, it's a she said, uh, you know, they'll, they'll not love reading if they have to be forced to do it. And it was an interesting, um, I wasn't sure. I really was torn because obviously I'd been taught something very different. But uh, 
interestingly now um, my sons don't read so much as they did I'm trying to think of a cover a color for that middle part we can't really go we can go lighter no, there's an orangey. I'm looking at the sort of flesh colours, but they're a little bit orangey. I'm thinking I'm going to use this pink, but try and go really lightly and see where we get. So I'm going to do a really light layer, really gentle and soft. So I'm not sure. One of my sons still reads a fair bit, but he reads before bed because he, he gets... he he gets in the shower first. I'm finding it hard to do a light layer in this small area. He gets in the shower first before his brother and he gets into bed and has a bit of a read while he's waiting for the lights out. My other son rarely reads. So it's uh, it's interesting but I think they would read more if they didn't have computers. I'm going back in with my Indian red light to do a bit of shading around this circular part. A bit of shadow. So I think they would read, you know, in their spare time if they didn't have computers. I used to read a lot. Um, I probably stopped around their age, to be fair. But um, I'm just tweaking now. Um, I'm also thinking about um, these lines. I don't want to completely ignore these pieces. So I've got my grenadine light, and I think I'm just going to go along each side of them a little bit to darken up that little bit in here to make that stand out just a bit um, yeah I used to because um, when I grew up we was growing up we had a co one computer in the family so we had to share it so I had to have other hobbies as well but uh, had I had my own I'm sure I wouldn't have read as much as I did I don't read very much now. Non-fiction more so. Recipe books, health books, mental health books, you know, that sort of thing. But not, um, I'm going to darken it up a bit. But not so much just general reading books. Okay, let's see. So we have had three colours. These three colours. Um, we have um, produced... Um, that cute little flower. I think that's okay. I am gonna leave that there. I, uh, I'm happy. It's uh, it's not nothing too difficult. It's just a little relaxed, um, fun video for you. And I hope that was okay. Um, we've got a slightly more um, detailed one look tomorrow, so I shall have a think about what to do for that one. But for today, um, that's me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, have a lovely relaxing day and happy colouring.